South Korea confirmed today a live fire drill had been carried out using an advanced air launched cruise missile for the first time. A shocking video shows the German made Taurus missile crashing into a mock target before exploding into fire and smoke. Seoul said this sort of military muscle can be used in a preemptive strike against North Korea, something which will infuriate North Korea's notoriously shower tempered leader Kim Jong un. The missile has a range of more than 300 miles putting the hermit state's capital of Pyongyang well within reach of South Korea's launch sites. It comes amid a never-tightening spiral of threat and counter-threat between North Korea and Kim's Western rivals. After a series of provocative nuclear tests and missile launches from the hermit state, South Korea, Japan, America and even North Korea's historic allies China are accelerating their own military programs and activities around the peninsula. Earlier this month America sent hundreds of troops to Japan to take part in joint drills and be on standby for another missile launch. 600 Alaska-based troops were flown to Japan for the Orient Shield militant drills with Black Hawk helicopters also making the trip for the exercises. Captain Adam Bowen, a spokesman for First Strike or Brigade said the group were ready to deal with anything North Korea throws at them. He said, we're just focused on the mission at hand and making sure we are ready for anything. And even China, historically one of North Korea's closest allies, have increased their war readiness as tensions on the Korean peninsula rise. China's Air Force carried out exercises near the peninsula, practicing to defend against this surprise attack, presumably from Kim Jong-un who has openly criticized Beijing on several occasions over the past year. Chinese state-run media, which effectively acts as a propaganda wing for leader Xi Jinping's government, said the provocative drills took place near the Bohai Sea, the innermost gulf of the Yellow Sea, which separates China from the Korean Peninsula. Troops traveled to the site from central China before immediately beginning drills to fend off the surprise attacks simulating real battle, Chinese press boasted. The troops' rapid response capabilities and actual combat levels have effectively been tested. They also said new weapons, used to shoot down airborne missiles, were successfully tested for the first time.